put him in like the labor camp. Yeah. And actually, his family, because he was from Cincinnati, his family lived in the same neighborhood as my old hairdresser that stopped doing hair. But I'm friends with her on Facebook. So <laughs> I know that she was his family his was friends with your hairdresser. My ex hairdresser, <laughs> yes. Okay. And wow. well, they were neighbors. And uh, so what? it was, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing about how ridiculous all these connections <laughs> are. But um, yeah, he, uh, I don't, the part that I can never understand with that story is if my child came to me and said, I'm going to North Korea on this trip, I would say, No, you're not. Well, wasn't this like it was in 2016, right? Yeah, so I probably would say that as well. It seems like he was he did some research. His father Fred said that it was safe for US citizens and that he was curious about their culture. I would have probably encouraged him to go to South Korea. I agree. Like close enough. Yeah. yeah. This is your only option. <laughs> So what's the one you're talking about, though? That not not him. Yeah, no, that's that's who I was talking about. But there's oh, okay. there were there were other people too that if you and I I was obsessed with that at the time. And there are other people too that are probably still in whatever prison or labor camps they have there, and they're they basically take their passports and they can't leave. And it'll be for minor like. I mean, that poor kid ripped down a poster, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's awful. Well, some people like to kind of go places that are a little more adventurous, but <laughs> that's different than going to on a, to an all-inclusive resort. Right. <laughs> I guess that's true. For the mini bar. Um, wait, can, I, can we go back, actually, for a second, just to Jamaica Republic? I just mm-hmm. came across an article that says Cardi B isn't here for Dominican Republic slander over recent tourist death. So she took to her Twitter and she said, what'd she say? She went off about the unique, undue bad press they've been receiving. What is that? Well, she said, what is it that's happening? I don't know. If it's, you know, bad press, I don't know what's happening. But what I do know is that the Dominican Republic is the most wonderful country people uh, and people have fun regardless. Even the most unfortunate have fun in the Dominican Republic. So it hurts me a lot when people say that country is bad. That country is this and that. Look what's happening. How is she making millions based off of what she's like off of her communication? And like, I could barely even read that. Well, I don't know if you follow her on Instagram. <laughs> I do. And it's actually very intriguing. I actually, I, I, I know why she's making millions. Like, I mean, I, yeah, but I'm just like, I can barely read that quote is what I'm saying. No, she's definitely not like a world class. Uh, well, I mean, English is not her first language, first of all. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to say anything negative, negative about Cardi B because I don't want her to come after me. But. I think maybe she could be the one to get down to the bottom of this if she wanted to, instead of just kind of defending the Dominican. Maybe she can sounds like sponsor she's in, some research. It sounds like she's in cahoots with the health ministry there. Now she's going to go against the FBI if they're truly doing any research, as you say they are. Yeah, well, I mean, according to Reddit and like a New York Post article or something. Yeah. 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 Well, maybe Cardi B is the only hope. Yeah, maybe. Ugh, I don't know how I feel about that. But in any case, it, it didn't mean to um to take things back in that direction. I guess I really just think that you have to try your best to stay safe in these places and just be aware as to what's going on around you. I would agree with that. I mean, we didn't even get into and I don't think we should get into for us being like shot you know, like being killed in other ways, like when you leave the resort. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that that's why people are so bothered by these situations that are going on, because typically the advice is stay at the resort and you'll be fine. But now people are dying at the resort. So, right. 
that's not great. But yeah, I think that the hasn't the advice always been like don't go wandering off. And I would definitely not recommend going wandering off in Dominican Republic. And I have talked to people that are like, oh, we were fine. We just like took a, a cab somewhere. I'm like, so where? You're literally in the middle of nowhere when you're in Punta Cana. Like, the only other place to go would be, like, another resort. Yeah. Well, I'm sure there's, like, local bars that people go to, right? Or, you know, like, an, a restaurant that's more of a um, cultural experience. I don't know, because it wasn't, when I was in Punta Cana, maybe, it, maybe the other areas of Dominican Republic are different. But when I was there, it was pretty much, like, a dirt road. And then you got to the resort and the resorts weren't, they were like close, but it wasn't like you could just like hop, skip and jump to the other resort. And it wasn't like being in Mexico because all the places I've gone in Mexico, they've been adjacent to a town. So like Cabo, Acapulco, like there's like an actual town with places to go to. Whereas this was not that. It was like a dirt road and like some shack that we passed as we got close. Right. Well, that doesn't appeal to me. I don't see that you can go onto a dirt road. Yeah, I'm not sure where people are going, but I'm sure that the locals in the town have somewhere that they drink other than the resort. So, like a cheap bar, maybe they're looking for cheap. No, they're already all inclusive. I'm not sure why people would leave, but people do usually. I mean, I always hear about people doing that. Yeah, well, I'm probably not going to go there. Yeah. We're not, so we're not going to suggest that anyone go to the Dominican Republic. Yeah. And then speaking also in regards to the Dominican Republic, this whole David Ortiz shooting. Yeah. Did you hear that he wasn't the intended target? I didn't hear that. Apparently that's, um, it popped up on my phone as a headline. I didn't have time. It's typical. I get all my news from headlines, so I never know Mm -hmm. the full story. I just know. I just know what the headline is. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Here. Former Red Sox star David Ortiz was mistaken for someone else when he was shot in the Dominican Republic, authorities say. I'm glad he's okay. I hope he didn't drink from the mini bar. Well, he couldn't drink from the mini bar. I think he got shot before he even got back to wherever he was staying. So is there, any, is there anywhere else that you're looking to travel that you feel is safe right now, if pretending there was no Zika or pregnancy? Oh, um. Well, I, w- I think I'd probably stick to, like, I want to go to, like, Aruba and stuff. I think there's plenty of other Caribbean islands where it wouldn't, where it's not as dangerous. I think that you just need to go to the ones that are less corrupt than the other ones. Mm-hmm. Or you could just take a cruise where your chances of dying are, are more so if you're <laughs> in the old age bracket. Okay. Right, right. Or if you have a spouse that hates you and wants to push you overboard. Yeah, I know. That's actually a great way to do it. Mm-hmm. Nobody, I mean, how would they know? I'll never know. There's also a bunch of diseases that they could die from before that on cruises. That's true because diseases, I mean, if we keep going in this conversation, we'll really go nowhere. No. Because there'll be, no, there'll be nowhere left to go. Well, as far as destinations. Yeah, I mean, because you could find a flaw in any destination, I guess, is my point. Right. Just don't leave your house. <laughs> Just stay home. Eat your own water. Drink your own alcohol. Eat your own food. You'll be fine. I, uh, so, a funny thing that that just reminded me of, when I used to work for, um, I used to work for a legal insurance company. And the owner of the company, and this was back when I was in my early 20s, the owner of the company was talking to myself and this other girl. We were talking about places that we wanted to travel to or we had traveled to. And he has said to us, I don't understand why you would leave your leave your home, leave your house. I mean, then you wouldn't have your bathroom nearby. You wouldn't have your bathroom nearby? That's all? That's what he told us. That's really true. <laughs> That's not incorrect. Did he have it like irritable bowel syndrome? I have no idea. But it was just something so. It was just. 
I mean, out of all the reasons, that's what his main reason was. He was like, I just wouldn't want to be too far from my bathroom or my own bathroom. Maybe he doesn't go to public restrooms. <laughs> Maybe. Travel with them. Why, like, okay, reg- regardless, if these are employees who are your company, why are you telling us this? I don't know. Maybe we need to do our next podcast. <laughs> things that people have said to us at work. I feel like we could go on for a few more hours. <laughs> I guess, yeah, that's true. Because I get a lot of that. Um, yeah, I bet. Yeah, oh, there's no shortage of it. <laughs> so do you have any other guests that you'd like to address? <laughs> I mean, in, in terms of mystery, the only other real mystery thing that I was fascinated by I, in terms of travel mystery deaths or the missing airplanes, like how an airplane goes missing, like that Malaysia plane. Because mm-hmm. there was a period of time where airplanes were going missing on a pretty regular basis. It was like a few airplanes, but I yeah. mean, it was, it was noticeable. And they were all the same airline, weren't they? I believe so. It was very yeah. odd. Yeah. But how they just go, like how a plane just goes missing, it just, I don't understand it. Yeah, well. Didn't they find one of them? I think eventually, but it was years and years later, wasn't it? It, it may have been years later, yeah. But I don't know. Did they ever find a Amelia Earhart? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> is she still missing? No, these are the hard hitting questions. <laughs> I think that there's always speculation that they found Amelia Earhart. Yeah, there was I re- recently. I remember last year. It, if it was last year that people were talking about how they think they may have found something yeah. of hers, and I need to actually, after we get off, I'll do some research if, if they did find Amelia Earhart or not. But that always mystified me, too. Where did she go? Yeah. Well, what about the Bermuda Triangle? <laughs> like, do I think it's real, or? I don't know. Don't Isn't that where people go missing, too? They do, yeah. So, I don't know, there's a lot of mysteries. Bermuda Triangle is not that ge- geographically far from the Dominican Republic, you know. I feel like maybe people were just there drinking from the mini bars before, and that's why they thought they went missing. Maybe, or it was just the mumbo. How do you say it? Mumbo Wamba? Mama Wana. Mama Wamba. I don't know why I keep calling it. It's like I'm mixing it with Shumbo Wamba. It's like the band. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get knocked down. <laughs> I think we'll but have to do... don't get back up again. Oh, uh, <laughs> I think we'll have to do our own research on whether these people who've gotten sick potentially in these articles have drank mamawana. Let's post on Reddit and and post an update. That's a good idea. Okay, I'll get going on that. Do you have any other mysteries to add? There's too many mysteries. I feel like we could go on all day. So no. <laughs> so just cut it off there. End it here. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope that everybody leaves this podcast feeling, I don't know if they're going to feel more informed or less informed <laughs> than when they I started. Would say less. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <Definitely> less. <laughs> what a bunch That's of cool. idiots. <laughs> so let's just go with the Mama Wana route. Yeah, that, that's it. So, all right. Um, Alex, do you want to have people follow you? It's better that they don't, but <laughs> you can follow me at LexMeister8 on Instagram. And you can follow me at Real Christy Wheeler. Where it feels so nice. Meet me in paradise. Where it melt like